Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. We are going to conclude the opening of this 2021 Topps Chrome Mega Box that I got from Walmart. So based upon what I've been reading, um, Topps Chrome Mega Boxes are exclusive to Walmart only, just like the hanger boxes. Those are also exclusive to Walmart only only um people are saying that that's how it was last year and so that's probably how it's going to be again this year and so i just want to let you guys know i've got two things i want to tell you before we get going here um number one i do not recommend buying this box it cost me 65 bucks and you're only getting 50 cards total it's a 10 by five product. And so for 50, for 65 bucks to get 50 cards, I mean, you're paying over a dollar a card. For 65 bucks, you can get a lot of great singles. You could get, um, you could buy two blaster boxes of Topps Chrome Baseball from, Wall, um, from a Barnes and Noble. If you remember there, they only cost $27 each. Um, and so I don't recommend you buy these things. All right. Just let them sit on the shelves and let those flippers and scalpers buy it and instantly regret it. All right. Or even, or, you know, it, it, on the other hand, if no one buys it and it just sits there, then Walmart will lower the prices for these, which would be amazing as well. So, um, my other disclaimer was that I wanted to let you know I like to rip up my products slowly because this hobby is expensive, right? This box right here, 65 bucks, and it's hard to find product, right? I had to wake up at 5 in the morning and wait an hour at Walmart just to get this box. Product is hard to find, product is expensive. And so because of those two things, I like to take my time when I open up my product here. So I've got, like I said, this is a 10 by five um, product. I've got five packs left and we're gonna open up those five packs and finish up this video here. So um, if you, I guess I'll do a quick recap for you. Um, I discovered that these are called X-Fractors and we got, I think we got six X-Fractors. Xander, Noah, Ramon, and Blake Snell. And then we got Will William Contreras right there. That's um, our fifth X-Fractor. This card, as you can tell, looks different from the X-Fractors. This is a Prism Refractor. Prism with an S, right? And here's the rookies I got so far. And yeah, they're okay. Not the greatest. Um, and we did get a Prism card. We got two Prism cards. We got a Byron Buxton here, whom I think is awesome. He actually should go in my Twins PC. And we got a Juan Soto Prism here, which is probably my best card so far. So let's open up some more packs here. We should, oh, you know what? I'm totally blind. This is right here, Find 10 exclusive X-Fractor Perilous Inside. Uh, man, I was trying to, in the last video, I was trying to figure out what the name of these cards were, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. So, but yeah, it's right there, right in front of my face, right? Okay, we've got a Bryce Harper in the front here. Um, oh, we got a baseball insert, and that's our X-Fractor back there. So we got Bryce Harper, followed by, oh, like a regular William Contreras rookie card, followed by, oh, man. Vladimir Guerrero, like, you know, if Shohei wasn't doing that great, I would love to give Vlad um, the MVP. I think Shohei gets it just because of he's got a higher war. He's got, he struck out 10 people today and issued zero walks. Um, and so, I mean, Vlad can't do that. I mean, who knows? Maybe Vlad's like an awesome pitcher too. We don't know. But, you know. Between the two guys, I'm gonna have to go with Shohei, right? And then behind Vlad, we got a baseball insert of, oh, Rod Carew. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. 
I love Rock Crew. I'm a Twins fan, so Rock Crew is like my boy. Behind him, we've got X Fractor. Oh, who is this? Manny Machado. Very cool. Let me sleeve up these cards. These are some nice cards. Rock Crew is going to go into my PC. I've always wondered. I need to look up Rock Crew's stats because I always. People say he was, oh, he was such a good hitter. And I'm like, I wonder how many hits he has total. Right? I mean, is he close to 3,000 hits? We don't know. We don't know. Actually, we will know in about 10 seconds here because I've got my computer here. And I'm going to open up Baseball Reference. How many, how many hits do you think Rod Carew has? All right. Um, I'm not looking, but I'm going to guess that he has about 2,600. Right. Considering Pete Rose has 3,000 hits. So, oh, well, you know, I was totally wrong. Rod Carew has 3,053 hits. Wow. Where is he on the list for most baseball hits in a career? Where is he? So, Rod Carew. So Rod Carew is 26 on the list. He's got 3,053 hits, right? Pete Rose has 4,256. All right. Hey, that's good to know. 3,000 hits? That's freaking crazy. So I am glad I've got that card for my PC. I see Twins cards and Cubs cards. We've got, here he is again, Mr. Manny Machado. Let's see what we got here. So we got another prism. Doesn't seem like we got a rookie. Nope. All right, so we got Manny Machado. Followed by Mr. Kevin Kiermeyer. <laughs> Do you guys see the news? Like, Kevin Kiermeyer, like, I think he was on first base, and he was running to home. He slid, and he was late, and so he got tagged out. But then the Toronto catcher what's his name he's real young i think he might be a rookie telez i forget no it's not telez alejandro kirk i think it was kirk kirk dropped like all his like he dropped like his cheat sheet and like Kiermeyer's like oh what's this and he picked it up and then the next game he got plunked right in the middle of the back so yeah i mean Kiermeyer's kind of like that he's kind of cocky and he's Kind of arrogant, and he just kind of does whatever he does. I remember he like cut off um, his right fielder for a ball. I mean, for for a, for a pop fly, just so that he could try to throw the guy out at at home. And and then he looked at like his right fielder, and he was like, "I'm the best. All right, like I got this. That's my ball." And and. It, that ball was clearly in right field, but I mean, he just still like ran all the way to right field, cut off his own right fielder to catch the ball to make a throw. But I mean, that's just how he is. He's interesting guy to watch. And then we've got um, Dansby Swanson, and then we got a prism here. Oh, hey, not too bad. All right. Mr. Christian Pache. Dude, that is beautiful. We got a prism of Christian Pache. Man. Man, the A's are just loaded, aren't they? Huh. If Pache can just hit for average, him in center field, um, Acuna Jr. in the right field, and they're loaded infield right now with Swanson, Freeman. I'm blinking out on the rest of the guys, but that's such a solid team. Dude, this is by far the best card in the blaster so far. And back here we got X Fractor of Oh, Ozzy Albies. Guys, and Albies. He's the other guy I was thinking about. Albies is their second baseman. Swanson's their shortstop um first baseman is freddie freeman who i mean he should get re-signed but i also understand if the atlanta braves are like 
we have to worry about the future. We have to figure out a way to pay for Acuna. And we got to figure out a way to pick up some pitching. And so, sorry, like we, we can't keep you, Mr. Freeman. So it kind of makes sense that they might let him go too. So which which sucks because I mean he's man he's just such an awesome guy. You hate to see him go, but I mean that's baseball. This free agency is gonna be so much fun. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. All right, pack number. This is pack number three of the video, but pack number eight of. This blaster here. Ooh, we got our insert here. Oh, let me give these cards a whiff here. Oh, man, it smells so freaking good. We got Sam Huff here. I like Sam. Raphael Devers, followed by Brandon Woodruff. So good this year. And we've got a Blue Jay of... Oh, no, wait, it's not a Blue Jay. It's a Braves of <laughs> Ronald Acuna. We do have a rookie card in the back here. So let's see what we got here. We got a Sam Huff. Sweet. We got two Sam Huffs. So I guess we'll talk about Sam Huff here. Sam Huff, I think, has hit. He's got so much crazy power. Um, and it's so weird because the Rangers brought him up for just 10 games. We're like, we'll just bring you up for 10 games in this year of COVID and just see how you do. And, dude, he did great. Right, I think this year in the minors, he's hit a 500-foot home run, and he's hit two home runs over 475 feet. So this guy's got crazy power. But this year in the minors, he's had a little trouble, just a little trouble, trying to, um, trying to make contact here. Weird. I see like a weird. That's just yeah, like dust or something down there. Okay, good. Oh man, this Acuna looks so good. Um, it's tough to say where this card would go. I'm just gonna put Acuna right here because I think those three cards deserve to be there. I eh, probably could take Sam down, but I mean that Pache. Looks amazing. You know what? I need to figure out how to properly pronounce Pache. I'm going to load up a YouTube video here. I'll do Google search here. How to pronounce Christian Pache. Christian Patch. Well, Christian Patch. Interesting. Oh, so it's French. He's French? No, maybe he got colonized by the French. Where is he from? The Dominican Republic. So maybe he did get colonized by the French. So it's, it's Patch. You know what? Let me look up a YouTube video where they talk about him. Let's see. Let's see. Christian... Patch highlights. Let's see here. Experience Lent. All right, hard in the ad. And while that's running, let's see here. Man, YouTube's just killing me with these. Let's see here. Little roller right side. That's going to find the outfield grass, and there's the first big league hit. Look at it. First major league hit comes in the sixth inning in Atlanta, and that ball is headed for the trophy case. And who knows, maybe the first of 3,000. Yeah, you see the excitement, man. That first one, I'm telling you, it's... How come they don't say his name? Older. Come on, say his name. You said for a guy that's had to wait 48 hours to start again. Good for him. Hopefully, like you said, Chip, first of many. Hang off pitch. Hit hard down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. It will all the way to the corner. Marquette is digging for third. Sorry, I'm watching this video. 
It's an RBI double for Christian Pache. Three to nothing, Braves. See, they say Pache, but I don't know. I'll have to do some more research. I think the world needs to know how to pronounce his name properly. Wilson Ramos, Chris Bubik, Ricky Card, very nice. And then we've got Nolan Arenado here, and we've got a Future Stars. Ooh, a Jesus Lizard, Mr. Jesus Lazardo. And this is our X Fractor of Yuan Moncada. Very nice. I like Yuan Moncada. All right, let's sleep up these two cards and we will open up this last and final pack of this Topps Chrome Mega Box here. Jesus Lizard and Chris Bubik. I need to listen to like an interview of Christian Pash. All right, I'm gonna call him Pash because I mean, if that name did, if that if that name does have an origin in in a French origin, then oh cool! Oh my gosh, we've got a card that's flipped upside down. Oh my gosh, guys! Oh my goodness! Why is it flipped upside down? Okay, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do here. Okay, um, Evan Longoria, Mr. Chris Bryant. I don't know if he's going to come back to the Cubs, but I would love to have him back as a Cub. And we got Mr. Mashahiro Tanaka. And our X Fractor in the back is of, uh, won't reveal it, is of uh, well, Wilson Ramos. Okay. So we've got a card that is flipped upside down. Am I going to eat my words? I've been telling you guys in the last two videos to not buy these mega boxes because. They're 65 bucks. But I have to admit that this mega box, this guy right here, has been really good to me. That Juan Soto, that Christian Pash, both um, refractors, and now I've got a card back here. Whew. I got a card back here that could be an autograph card. Please don't be a pitcher. Please be somebody good. So I'm just going to flip it over and see what it is. All right. You guys ready? Three, two, one, zero. Oh, very nice. Finally got one. This is a negative of Kyle Schwarber. Very cool. These negatives are interesting because like, you can't really tell who it is. And depending on the on the photo, some negatives look like horrible. You're like, man, what kind of card is this? But this one looks pretty decent. Mr. Kyle Schwarber, who is doing really well for the Red Sox, but the Red Sox did get swept. They just got swept by the Yankees. And man, when you're in a wild card race, that sucks. But, I mean, that's how it is. Oops, this, this top loader is like really big. This must be a 50 point top loader. Is this, this one a 50 point? This is also a 50 point top loader. Yeah, that is a 50-point top loader. What's going on here? Those are my regular 35-point top loaders. All right, that feels a little better. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take down Sam Huff. We got Kyle Schwarber here. We'll put Schwarber in the middle. That card's actually more rare than the other ones. That was cool to get a, a negative refractor of Kyle Schwarber. That's pretty nice. And then we've got Mr. Christian Pash here. Dude, yeah, so um, this video went longer than I 
thought it would go, but that's okay. All my videos go longer than I think they will go, but that's just, that's just me. That's just how it is. Um, so I've been telling you guys to not buy mega boxes because they're 65 bucks. All right. I, I think I'm the exception to the rule here because this mega box was pretty, pretty good. Let's look at our 10 X fractors here. Ramos, Moncada, Albies, Machado, Bogard, Syndergaard, Ramon, and Blake Snell. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got two more down here. We got our Sam Huff. And we got a William Contreras rookie card as well. Oh, yes. Let's just look through my rookie cards here. You know, we got some decent ones. Leody and Sam. We'll see how William pans out. Hopefully Brandon, hopefully Brandon Marquez comes back really well next year. Um, but yeah, actually our best cards are actually not rookie cards. Well, this Pache is really nice. See, I, see, I just called them Pache when I said I'm going to try to pronounce it as Patch. But um, yeah, we'll just say Pache for now. Pache sounds very French too. Um, and then we've got, yeah, and this is a prism Juan Soto here is a prism we've got a beautiful Acuna here that looks fairly centered might be a little top heavy oh yeah it is a little top heavy but this is a beautiful card just in case you don't know he hits Slightly above average, but he's got power and he's got stolen bases. Yeah. Anyways, um, even though I said to not buy these buy these mega boxes, I still stand by that. Um, again, I am the exception to the rule because I did get that negative refractor. Let's see. I think I saw it earlier. Negative. A negative is one out of 111 packs so that's not too bad you had to buy 10 of these boxes mega boxes to get one of those and i got one of those and it's of a good player kyle schwarber oh uh, well you know let's say uh, above average player kyle schwarber so um yeah guys uh let me wrap up this video i just want to thank you guys for listening to me rip and watch me rip and ramble on about these about these cards in the hobby um i greatly appreciate it um, if you could give this video a thumbs up um, especially if you're digging this past shade card this negative and that beautiful juan soto um prism there and um feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell too so you kind of know when i upload new videos um just wanted to let you guys know that I really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, I hope you, you guys are able to get your hands on some amazing product and that your polls are better than mine. All right. Not a lot of people would say that, but I hope that your polls are better than mine. So you take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.